Now, Diamond Trust Bank has come under the director of public prosecutions magnifying glass as one of the main banks in the country that failed to comply with the Central Bank of Kenya's prudential guidelines on moving money. Now, appearing before the Parliamentary Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs today, director of public prosecutions, that is Nurdin Haji, said banks lead in aiding and abetting of terrorism and that his office will prosecute officers in financial institutions uh, that do not adhere to the Central Bank of of Kenya's prudential guidelines. Let's take a look at that report. They have been running the whole of this town to try and influence us not to charge them, which is unacceptable. Uh, and I'm, I'm, uh, I think you need, you, you, you need to know that. Um, we, we, and we will not entertain, entertain that at all. It is in this regard that Nurdin Haji has requested for an additional 750 million shillings to aid the fight against graft. Accompanied by Senior Deputy Public Prosecutor Dorcas Odwar and other prosecutors, DPP Nurdin Haji told the committee that 250 million shillings of additional budget will be channeled towards fighting corruption and counter-terrorism. I wish to request for your intervention in the following four key areas for additional funding. In total, the office seeks an additional 750 million against 1.9, which we should we should be requesting. But we are taking into consideration uh, the austerity program that uh, we, I mean, austerity phase that we are going through. The DPP said corruption as a main facilitator of terrorism, accusing banks are abating money laundering when they fail to comply with the Central Bank of Kenya's prudential guidelines on moving money. Let me ask uh, Madam SPP to expound on that. Okay. With, re with regards to the banks, it is true that a bank would not know that it's dealing with a criminal. But this issue of financial uh, institutions and uh, movement of money is international. The requirements for prudential guidelines is international. Every country is supposed to have mechanisms so that the institutions are not misused. That is why you have uh, institutions like FATF and the Basel Institute to look at the financial institutions because that is where money laundering, that is placing, layering and integration takes place. The DPP also requested the committee through parliamentary legislation to help them motivate prosecutors by increasing their remuneration. Nurdin Haji noted that the salary of the senior deputy public prosecutor is similar to that of a senior resident magistrate. Yet, she deals with the judicial officers who earn triple her salary. The DPP will appear before the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee next week on Thursday as deliberations on his office budget estimates continue.